Do you get headaches when you wear your hair up in a ponytail, a bun, or some other kind of updo? If you do, you're not alone, and today I am going to be sharing a few tips to help you avoid the hair headaches. Today I'm going to be sharing some tips with you about how you can avoid getting a headache when you wear your hair in a ponytail, in a bun, or some other kind of updo. This is something that I struggled with a lot. It took me um, a very long time to get to a place where I figured out how to avoid some of those headaches and so today I'm just going to be sharing with you a few tips to help you stay more comfortable. The first tip when you are doing your hair is to make sure you don't pull it very tight. So if you take your hair into a ponytail and you're pulling it super, super tight here, it puts a lot of pressure on these hair follicles, especially these ones up here towards the uh, front of your hairline. Um, and so what you can do is just don't pull it quite as tight and you can even pinch and pull to bring some of these out so that it's not so tight in there when you go to attach your hair elastic. Another tip is that I have found that the low ponytail seems to put the least amount of stress. If I want a high ponytail, which I love high ponytails. Um, I have to do a little bit of um, kind of a bun and ponytail hybrid just to kind of help distribute the weight of it a little bit more. And so I will show you that in just a minute. But sometimes just playing around with where you position your ponytail, that can make a big difference. When you're tying your hair back, make sure that you are using accessories that are not pinching and pulling or pull, putting extra um, tension on your hair and pulling on those hair follicles. So instead of using hair ties that have that little metal clip that can kind of get caught and tangled into your hair, for example, you would want to use maybe a fabric one. A lot of people love things like this, silk scrunchies. Um, they can be a really great option for a lot of people. I know for me personally, my hair is way too slippery to use one of these um, successfully for any amount of time. They just, the, the soft silkiness of the scrunchie mixed with my silky hair, it just slides straight out. So I can't really use this one for very long. Even if I use it for sleeping, it, I will wake up with it out of my hair. Um, but if your hair has a little bit more texture to it, if it's got a little bit more grip, um, then this might be an okay option for you. My next tip, and this is going to be especially helpful for women who just have very, very thick hair or they have very, very long hair. When you have a lot of hair, at some point, it's just heavy weight, it's just weight, and so, Taking breaks throughout the day can um, be really helpful so that you can give your hair follicles a little break throughout the day. Also, just varying the hairstyle that you wear from day to day, making sure that you're not wearing the exact same hairstyle all the time can really help because it just gives your hair follicles a break. Make sure that when you're sleeping, you are doing something different than what you do for your daytime hair. So um, some people like to sleep with their hair up in a top knot. Some people like to sleep with it in a loose braid. Whatever works for you is good as long as it's a nice loose hairstyle that's not going to be pulling and tugging on your hair. Uh, but just try and vary it up a little bit. So if you wore a low ponytail during the daytime, maybe don't sleep with it in that low braid because all your hair follicles are still going the same direction. Um, so just try to uh, be a little bit intentional about how your hair is sitting even when you're sleeping and throughout the day to help alleviate those headaches. Last and my favorite tip is that when you do wear your hair up, make sure that you're using some kind of holder that was designed specifically to help avoid hair headaches. My favorite kind of hair accessory for this 
um, are these flexi clips. They just come with a little pin on one side and you can fold it over. You put the hair in this part and fold it over and close it and it just tucks all of your hair inside. When you wanna take it out, all you do is pull on this pin and it releases very quickly. They come in a lot of different designs. They have metal ones. Even though these ones are metal, they're very smooth. There's no pinch points in there. It's This part is made of piano wire and so it's very, very flexible. It's going to um, give your hair, it's kind of like giving your hair a hug. It feels very gentle in your hair. They come in all different sizes. So even if your hair is just very fine and you don't have very much of it, you can use these little bitty ones. Um, and they are just wonderful little things. The first time that I tried one of these, um, I asked the woman who sold it to me, I said, I don't know what kind of magic is in these things, but I need more of them. Um, and they're very easy to put in. They're very easy to take out. So to put it in for a ponytail, all you really need to do is grab your hair and sandwich it in between the clip and then push the pin through the end. And it's not gonna pull, it's not, as long as you have the right size, it's not gonna slide out throughout the day. It feels very comfortable in your hair. It's designed not to pull and tug and slide. Those are all the things that are going to contribute to those headaches. When it's time to take it out, all you do is grab here and pull and it releases very quickly. They're made in so many different sizes so that they can work in different types of hair. So whether your hair is really fine and slippery like mine is, or whether you have curly hair, thick, coarse hair, or even if it's coily or kinky, you're gonna be able to find something that's going to be able to um, hold it all. If you want to do an updo with it, um, my favorite updo is a French twist. And it's super easy, it's super fast to get it in here. And it holds all of my hair all day long. It doesn't slide out. When I put it in at the beginning, it's not super tight. And it just holds reliably all day long. Um, even at the end of the day, it still feels nice and comfortable in my hair. Now going back to something that I talked about earlier in the video is that if your hair is very long and very thick, it might still feel heavy regardless of how you style it. But there are a few things, a couple things that you can do to let gravity work with you and for you so that you can manage the weight of all that hair. So for a high ponytail, I like to start out kind of with a bun at the top and that bun just helps to distribute some of the weight around my scalp so that it's not just pulling at that one spot where the ponytail is sitting. So to show you what that looks like, it's just, you're pulling it up into a high ponytail. So from the front, it's still quite high. And you're going to twist it just like you're starting a bun but you only need to go around one time. And then take the clip at the bottom part of this and secure it. So this way you still have this long ponytail. From the front, you still have some of the height of a high ponytail, but it's just not quite, um, there's not quite as much tension at this part because you've got some of it distributed in that bun section. So that can be a helpful tip. Another thing that you can do um, is like a top knot and just really get everything real high up on your head. And go ahead and wrap it around up here. And then you can take the clip. If you have a clip that's big enough, you can go over the whole knot. If like mine, it's not quite big enough, you're just gonna go over part of it like that. 
And this way you've got most of the weight here. Gravity is just holding it on top of your head. Um, this is one of my favorite ways to wear my hair because it just helps it. I can wear it this way for the longest amount of time because gravity is kind of working in my favor to help keep it where it's supposed to be. This kind of style also looks really cute with a hair stick if you have one. So if you're going to be using a hair stick with this, all you need to do is start out going one direction and then flip the stick over, touch your scalp, and then come out the other way. And this is also an option that um, really helps to not pull on your hair. Um, it doesn't cause damage to your hair. This, the stick does take a little bit more practice to learn how to do it. It's not quite as um, grippy as something like this is going to be. These are a lot easier to learn. Um, they're just a lot more like foolproof. And so I really like them. But if you like hair sticks, those are a great option too. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Did I miss a tip that you have that you use that you really like? If I did, go ahead and let me know what it is down in the comments. Let's help each other out and help each other avoid these hair headaches. Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and make sure to subscribe to my channel. I will be posting more hair styles and hair tips. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. God bless.